Hey, what up you guys? It is Sassy Assassin here back with another video. I hope you guys are all doing well and are having a wonderful week so far. It is currently May 17th, 2024. And in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to two foodie beauty videos. The first one being Make Sushi and Dynamite Shrimp Mukbang and... I have a new health problem and weigh in. So, without further ado, folks, let's get to. So, as you guys know, I cannot do a mukbang at regular or even 1.25 speed. So, this speed is 1.5. So, here we go. Well, hello, guys. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another video. Today, I have... <sighs> Something amazing. Let's set this up. Come on. Woo, yeah. Sushi! But not just sushi today. Other things that come with it. And it's my favorite place. My favorite place. I can't tell you how excited I am to eat this sushi. But you're going to find out today. Oh, yes, you will. Oh, yes, you will. How cute. They give me a fork. <laughs> And two sets of chopsticks because I think it's probably for two people. How cute. I think it's probably for two people. How cute. Because at, for, for Chantal, um, a single portioned meal is just completely out of the realms of, of believability. Wow. Just wow. I mean... And you wonder why you're having so many problems. This right here. This is a problem. She's, I mean, you see how excited she is to get her fix? She's literally bouncing in her seat. We are seeing an addict getting ready to take a hit, basically. Wasabi. I really dislike it. I'm sorry. By the way, I'm just going to drink cold water today with my meal. And this meal deal came with oh, dynamite shrimp. Cool. I never tried dynamite shrimp before. And as like it matters if you're going to drink water with it. I mean, you're still eating a, a way too much food for one person. Hey, mommy. Okay. Like, it comes with these little temp. Even if you look at the end of mommy, she's like, okay. Like, the one, like, arguably healthy thing there. She's like, okay. You're a bit not made for cats, by the way, Julia. In case you're wondering. Yeah. What's up with the passive-aggressive attitude? Girl. Jesus. Sauce. I have a jar of soy sauce, but it doesn't taste the same as like sushi restaurant one. I don't know why. Perfect. Yeah, that's good. Okay. You are in your element, aren't you? Look how much, look how relaxed and comfortable she is. Ready to. Speed at her trough, basically. Get her, her hit. Her fix for the day. Mm -mm. Hey, and the shrimps are off of my sushi. Why? Bismillah. Let's try the dynamite shrimp because I seriously am craving it. I was craving Chinese food, but... And a mommy, let's try one of these first. Too healthy. <laughs> Alright, dynamite shrimp. I think it's like a spicy sauce. Like deep fried shrimp with spicy sauce. Beauty bite! Jesus. Oh my god. So on. I need to take it back. <laughs> Alright. What'd she say? Too healthy. Too healthy. 
It's too healthy, you guys. <laughs> Alright, dynamite shrimp. I think it's like a spicy sauce. Like deep fried shrimp with spicy sauce. Beauty bite! It just hit the brain. Oh. Wow. That is so good. <laughs> Oh, it's been a while since we get the shh. It's, shh. it's not cute, Chantel. Not anymore. It's ever been cute. <laughs> Those of you watching for the food, I guess we should describe the sushi. So it has white soy wrapping, not the seaweed, not the nori. I don't like interesting way to prepare to phrase that for those who are here for the food does that mean you're catering to feeders is that a, a underlying admission to catering to feeders I, I, mean, I, I, I can't help but wonder maybe that's how she's getting her bills paid instead of YouTube she's having she's basically catering to feeders They spend money on, on um, a certain amount of money, on uh, getting you know paying for the the food that they want her to eat. Nori, oh. this is rock shrimp maki. So it has the white nori, the white uh, wrapping, um, cucumber, carrot, tempura bits. Their special spicy mayo sauce and shrimp tempura. And this one is volcano maki. Uh, same thing, same wrapping, um, tempura, crab, crab, and like carrots and so I don't know, I don't even know what's in it, but anyway, <laughs> something like that. They taste very similar. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I impaled it. That's why I can eat so much of this sushi because of the lack of nori. In Canada, when I would go to the all-you-can-eat sushi place I always frequented, when I would have sushi, I, I would have to have a craving for it because I find the nori very fishy tasting and strong, and um, which is why I can't have raw. I don't know, just personal taste. Um, I can only eat a certain amount of sushi from there because after a while I would get like a bit of ick. Mm. Just watching you down this sushi is giving me a healthy amount of ick. <laughs> Dynamite shrimp. I should have got this um, a while ago. It's so good. Mm. If I went to Japan. Instead of finishing the first part of Bridgerton, I'm watching this. What is wrong with me? I'd be willing to try more things. I'm sure. Oh, really? Girl, you're not going to make it to Japan. Okay? You're not going to make it anywhere. The only place you're going to be going is, is, there, is either back to Canada or a coffin. Those are your two choices. God, the, the delusion with this one. Mm -mm. Not if, when I go to Japan. <laughs> when we go to Japan. No. I would love to. Hi, sweetie. Honey, boo boo. It's it's not a, a, win, a win. Okay, you're not even in the realms of win. And I know saying this would probably, you know, make you want to challenge us and, you know, Cause she's that kind of person, you know. You, you tell her you she can't do something, and you know you tell that you sh she shouldn't be doing that thing. She's gonna go ahead and do it just to, to prove the haters wrong. Like, look at me, guys. I'm doing exactly what you guys told me not to do. It doesn't matter. If it's about whether it's good for her or not. She doesn't care as long as she's she's being defiant because she's got that defiance disorder going on. The, you know, the, what is it, the, what is that, the defiance? 
There's a there's a term for it. Two. Then God willing. Was it oppositional defiant disorder? Oh, no. I don't know. I think I think I figured out what my problem is. I think I have a bit of agoraphobia, though I'm not sure. Like, because when I look up agoraphobia. You are not agoraphobic because agoraphobic means you cannot leave the house whatsoever. You wouldn't have been able to travel to Kuwait, you, you okay, and stuff like that. You wouldn't even be able able to go to the pool. You agoraphobic means you can't leave your like your your apartment. Like leaving would literally make you physically ill. I I I had a friend back in the day that I met online on a relatively now obscure social media website and she was agoraphobic and the only way that she could make friends was is was online and we were friends for quite a long time until you know she's it, it, I don't know how to explain it she kind of she was learning how to get uh, you know to overcome the agoraphobia agoraphobia which i thought was awesome and she was actually leaving the you know leaving the house with and and she actually got a job okay so um when it got to that point it was like the friends that she had online didn't matter to her anymore because oh uh, you know what i mean like she just Checked us aside like we just didn't matter, you know. Like even though we spent a lot of time, like there's no, there's a couple of us, you know. We we're in this little group, and um, yeah, she really treated us like shit, basically. Um, but uh, yeah, like she, I'm from, I remember, you know, the time, you know, talking to her. It was, she was like, she was like, it would make her physically ill to the thought about going outside. Like, and, you know, when, when she was learning how to, in the beginning, like, early stages, like, I can't remember, I, I just know that she, like, she got physically ill one time, like, stepping outside to, to go to the mailbox. She got halfway down, like, the, the driveway, and she, like, literally got physically ill. So, you know, the fact that Chantal's like, Mm, yeah, you guys, I, I I went on Google, you know, Google.com, and, you know, I, and I think I have agoraphobia. It's a very serious mental illness. It's not something to make light of. But, of course, you don't give a shit, do you? Because you don't have a sense of, of, of morality, in my humble opinion. So you don't give a shit about other people and w what offends people and what doesn't. Because you're just that kind of person. I don't like the squelching sound this makes coming out of the pod. Um, when I look at agoraphobia, it's like basically, they call it a severe irrational fear of leaving your uncomfortable safe spot, like your home. Because you're afraid of something bad happening. To me, I'm a little bit afraid of becoming too uncomfortable, like with the heat or going somewhere walking where it's like a huge walk, like miles and miles and there's no benches, <laughs> I don't know, which is irrational. Only because, well, it could happen. You're, you're more afraid of being made a mockery out of, in a way. You're more afraid of being looked at. So that's why you like to go out when you know there's not going to be a lot of people around. Because you are literally afraid of being made fun of. I hate to break it to you, Chantel, but... People, no matter what time of the day, people there are going to be people, people that are going to be out. And they are going to stare at you. Because you look ridiculous. Especially said, standing next to Sala, pretending to be his wife. You're not... It's not common to see someone your size. Okay? Like, oddly enough, this is what I'm saying. 
when I look at Chantel and Amber, okay, they get looks, you know, like recently, especially, they, there is this, uh, and I will cover it, don't worry, I, I think I may, I don't know if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna show it on my channel, but there was a security footage found of Amber and her mother walking out of a, um, a grocery store. I think it was Target. I don't know how this came to be on the internet, but it did. Okay. And in that clip, because I'm, I, I mean, it's been all, all over the place. In that clip, um, there's a guy standing behind, just standing there, looking at at Amber, especially, like he can't believe what he's seeing. You know what I mean? And it's like we've seen this plenty of times when Sala, when when Chantel and Amber have been out and about. The hell is it? There that footage of her in Thailand where she goes to that restaurant alone, and that woman has taken pictures and video footage of her. It's not common to see someone of your size. So you know when I go out. I don't get pointed at like I I, I just kind of blend into the background. Maybe I'm just so like maybe I just don't notice. I don't know, but I rarely do I see people like looking at me and pointing at me and 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 I actually have never had someone take video footage of me because of my size. So it stands to reason that she's way bigger than what she claims to be. If she, and if she's the, it, you know, and the fact is, there have it has been st there's evidence of people actually taking photo, you know, photos and, and videos of her. But and she knows this. She knows that no matter where she goes, she is, especially in Kuwait, she is an oddity. They, they, I, I think they do have an obesity problem, but uh, as well as a, a major drug problem as well. But also, it's like it's not common to see someone who looks like her over there. I try to make sure I know where I'm going, like this, the circum, like the conditions. If there's proper seating, because I can walk. walk. Like when we went to that huge mall, Alphiran Mall. I didn't sit down that much, but I had I did sit a couple of times, a few times. Even if I just sit for like bullshit, you sat any chance that you got, Chantel, and you can walk. You can barely walk, Chantel. You can barely swim, let alone walk. You would think with her swimming that she would like, you know, get more movement. But my God, the woman doesn't know how to swim, and when she and what whatever swimming she does. It's like watching a paralyzed fucking frog. It's it's weird. I, think it has, I honestly think it has to do with the fact that she that her, she's having a hard time moving because of how massive her body is. Two three minutes or five minutes, you know, Max. Um. No, I still don't know how to hold her chopsticks. But I refuse to eat sushi with a fork. Mm. So yeah, even a few minutes, it does the trick. I would be okay, as long as I have comfortable footwear, a backpack with waters. But the summer here, that's the only problem too. <laughs> So I've just been sticking to swimming. I don't like film every time I swim because like it's probably gonna be boring for you guys at some point. Sorry about that. I just uh I pressed the wrong button. Okay, I can't remember where I left off, but I'm just I'm I think I'm close to it. Only because well, it could happen. But, but I try to make sure I know where I'm going, like this, the circum, like the conditions. If there's proper seating, 
Because I can walk. Like when we went to that huge mall, Al Kiran Mall. I didn't sit down that much, but I had I did sit a couple of times. A few times. Even if I just sit for like two or three minutes. Or five minutes, you know, max. Um No, I still don't know how to hold chopsticks. But I refuse to eat sushi with a fork. Hmm. So yeah, even a few minutes, it does the trick. You get a walker, I don't get it. A lot of oh, very obese people have walkers. I have a walker. Now, I don't use it very often anymore, but like, I, you know, there was a time when I really needed it. But she obviously needs something like a walker or something. But see, that would add to more that. But she would never because that would add to like the this whole circus freak aspect that is her, like that that is Chantel. I mean, yeah, I'm, she. It is. I mean, I'm. I'm just gonna admit. I'm gonna admit this. Like, if I was like walking down the street whatever or you know wherever I whatever I was doing whatever I was at and I saw this woman walking down the street or you know out and about I would stare cuz I'm human cuz I know and I know for a fact that she's way way bigger looking than she appears on here so you can only imagine right Which is why she's so afraid of, of being out and about. Not because of agoraphobia or anything like that. It's because she knows how ridiculous she looks. She knows how fat she is and she's ashamed. And she's, it's all out of shame. That's, the, uh, uh, down, that's what it all boils down to. And she doesn't want to admit that because that adds that's the whole shame. She doesn't want to admit that, that she's ashamed of herself. I would be okay, as long as I have comfortable footwear, a backpack with waters. But the summer here, that's the only problem too. <laughs> so I've just been sticking to swimming. I don't like film every time I swim because like it's probably gonna be boring for you guys at some point. Mm. With the swimming pool, I don't have to leave <laughs> the compound. But yeah, I'm just like going through a phase and I go through these sometimes where I'm just like, I cannot, I don't want to leave. I don't want to go out. I don't want to do anything. Well, it must be nice, you know, because a majority of people, Chantel, have jobs and they don't have the luxury. I'd be like, well, I don't feel like going out today. So there you go. You are so unrelatable, Chantel. But you're sitting here acting like as if you're just this relatable queen. You, you're the same as Amber. It's like you're you're the most unrelatable human that I've ever encountered. How many of you can honestly say that? Well, if I don't feel like going out today, I'm not going to. You know, like on a on a daily basis for or for a certain stretch of time. No, that's just no normal adult would behave this way. And I don't think it's like depression in this case because I don't feel depressed right now. I feel good, you know? I don't know. It's weird. Hey! Hey, <laughs> hey when sushi falls apart. No, I think she's depressed. She just, she doesn't realize it. Because you can be depressed and not even realize it. You're just so in your depression that you just don't actually realize that you're actually depressed. Let's see if we can fix it. Hmm. 
depressed at the moment because you're you're getting your fix, but I think genuinely you are depressed. I'll give you a lot of shrimp. If I had to pick a snack, I would not pick edamame. It was under like the snack section. What's wrong with they edamame? Gross, like, gross, like. like, why does she have this thing against edamame? A pleasure response in the brain at all. <laughs> Whatsoever. Imagine living your life purely for for just for this for this kind of pleasure. I get, you know, one should enjoy their life, but th th this is enjoying to excess, to live to just in to just get that pleasure response. That's just, girl, that's not a way to live. And this is why you have a problem. This is why you can't lose weight because you're just like, well, if this isn't give me that pleasure response. You know, I I'm not going to eat it. It's because it's a vegetable. It's a legume. Ridiculous. They have a lot of estrogen, don't they? Soybeans. Oh, I'm in a puzzle, so that's a good thing. <laughs> I'm weird, I know. Anyway. Bye. I know you're thinking. So how? How are you gonna travel? Oh. If you claim to be a agoraphobic and you can't leave your house. I mean, there are people with severe cases who haven't left their house in years. I get that. But like, like I don't know if it's like a mild case or an occasional thing, I don't know. You've never been formally diagnosed. You're just going on Google and be like, yeah, I have that. I think I have that. Just because I say it, it is it automatic, that's what it is now. She does that all the time. She does it to herself. She does it to other people. If she says, she, if she thinks it's a, something is a, a, something is something, then she it's a, a, all of a sudden it's decreed as being so, and it annoys the shit out of me because you know remember the whole Motel Six thing with with friend for a girl. Well, you live in a Motel Six, and so if I decree that FFG lives in a Motel Six, then it must be true. That's not how shit works, Chantel. But like, it's, bit, it's just fart again. Did you hear that? It reverberated across the entire room. N and and not, not even a excuse me. She just lets it out. Good manners. The thing is, before going to Thailand, I had the same problem. And then it wore off, and I was craving to go out. And then um, I was fine in Thailand for a while, but we were there for like a month and a half. And at some point I got that feeling again, like I don't want to leave the hotel. So like you couldn't afford to leave. You couldn't afford to do anything. But Salah could afford to go and, and fuck around with whoever. And it was like an irrational fear. Because I was thinking, what if I go out and I die? Like, I have less light, less likelihood of passing away staying inside. I'm able to talk myself out of it a lot, but it's hard to do sometimes. But like, especially in a foreign country, especially like somewhere like Thailand, it's so crowded. Oh, it's so crowded. Any time of day. I know Japan would be like the ultimate challenge for me because I, I, I get such bad anxiety. I could see myself having an anxiety attack if I don't check myself in like somewhere like Japan. Everything is like, I feel I'm very claustrophobic and that goes for like obviously some countries just looking at how busy they are. Can you imagine this woman walking around Japan with her crude, ma with her crude manners? Oh my god. Oh my god. I do not envy the Japanese people. I do not. Oh my gosh. She's she's dead set, right? I I don't think I don't think it's gonna happen given her health. But I mean 
you never know, right? Remember we said she wouldn't go to Thailand, and yet she went to Thailand? How many buildings? Like, it makes me claustrophobic. When I went to New York City, I felt like I was walking indoors. That's how tall, that's how many buildings there were. The street was shaded from the buildings. And I felt claustrophobic. I felt like the buildings were hovering over me. It was so creepy. I just take deep breaths and tell myself, you're gonna be okay, you're gonna be okay. You have to really mentally talk to yourself. I have to become, I'm not able to do that with food. I'm not able to talk, my, talk to myself with food, about food. Like, you shouldn't be eating that. I honestly would rather- So you have no self-control. You know, you, you never had that home training. You have no self-control, Chantal. You need to be impatient. The fact that you're sitting here talking about going to Japan when we really should be booking a ticket back to Canada, it's just, it's, it's, oh my God. it's just unbelievable to me. The amount of delusion. Rather try my shot at becoming a super fitness bodybuilder, six pack extraordinaire. Shut up for this. this. Then quit eating delicious food. Which these are you kidding me right now. No, I get it. Like, there are, there are people that can, you know, that are weight left, that weight left, that have six packs and, you know, you know, really fit body and eat like crap. Like, you know, the guy who plays the new Jack Reacher on Amazon? I watched a video, uh, 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 interview and they, somebody asked him, like, what do you do to, you know, keep so fit? You know, and he, he gave his like workout routine, but he also, emphasize that he doesn't like necessarily eat the healthiest like he eats things like sundaes and pizzas and cheeseburgers and stuff like that but the reason why he was so fit is because of how you know i guess the just genetic makeup of his body but also like because he works out every day he burns a lot of calories he's and he's very you know fit and active and he's been working out every day for a long time. But see, someone like Chantel, she's like, well, I, you know, I want to become this, like, you know, fit and, like, you know, bu super buff person, who weightlifter with a six pack. Like, bitch, you don't even understand. I can't even comprehend the amount of hard work it would take to even get even remotely close to that. I know I have an old friend who I don't talk to very much, but her sister for a time was a, a became a bodybuilder and it took about two or three years to get to that point. Cause I remember watching her progress on Facebook. Now, can you imagine two, like, I guess it was maybe two, three, maybe max four with the max, but um, I, I, I'm not sure exactly how many years, but I'm just going to say about roughly almost four years. Do you, do you honestly think that, Chantel, you could stick that out? I mean, you have so much weight that you need to lose. It's unbelievable. Like, in order to even achieve anything close to that, you'd have to do a major lifestyle change. But you're sitting here talking about climbing Mount Everest and going to Japan and doing all this walking and stuff and thinking that your little visit to the pool and and the exercise the the lack of exercise that you do there with within the pool is enough to to lose a massive amount of weight and and all of a sudden enable you to like do all these things it's like Chantel these are pipe dreams as far as you're concerned because I know, just as everyone else knows, just as you know, Chantel, you're never going to achieve these things because you lack the fortitude. You lack the, the um, what it takes to, to, to do these things because you, you, you're not about hard work. You're about minimal effort and, and, and constant shortcuts. And there are, there, you just, some, there are no shortcuts in life. If you want something, you got to work for it. And becoming 
that physically fit, that takes a lot of work. Or not. <laughs> it tastes like side news. No offense. Anyways, I'm just rambling now. Oh, mommy. Like, oh my god, you guys, they're they're green vegetables. It tastes like sadness. Oh my god. I can't stand the fact that, you know, I, I, that to even eat a vegetable tastes like sadness to me. Get over yourself. Get the fuck over yourself, Chantel. You are in your 40s. Enough is enough. So I appreciate you guys listening to me, tuning in. If you're out there and you're struggling like me, I hope you're doing, you know, I hope you get better and feel better soon. And yeah, that's all I guess I gotta say. But as soon as I feel able and I can push myself to get out there, we will do more videos outside, I promise. That's my goal. Like I said, every day I wake up and I wanna go out there and do so many things for you guys to give you better content, like ex instead of the same room every day. <laughs> but for now, this room is like my comfort place and I just find that it's hard to leave right now. So I hope you understand. And if not, well, that's okay too. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. That was a ridiculous video. She really, she ticks me off. You know what I mean? Just this, this, this kind of talk just, it just ticks me off. I know it realistically, it shouldn't tick me off, but it does. But anyways, let's move on to the next video. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I literally like woke up not long ago and um, weighed myself. So here's my weigh in. I'm gonna start this off by saying I don't give a shit about her weigh ins because they're fake. The so scale is broken and she's using a scale that she's already maxed out on. So, of course, it's not gonna give her an accurate weight i don't believe she's anywhere near the 300s it's more like the higher 400s or even 500s at this point because if you look at footage from her old videos back in the day when she was close to what she's claiming to be she is a hell of a lot smaller in that footage compared to what she looks like now. And she's using filters today. So the fact, Chantel, that you're looking bigger with filters on compared to video footage of when you weren't using filters or maybe a little bit of filters, but not, you know, maybe the filters weren't as good. I don't know. It says a lot. But go ahead, Chantel, and, and fool yourself into thinking that you're 300 and something pounds. The only person that you're hurting at the end of the day is you. I have a huge glass of lemon water. I just, been, I just woke up craving it. I don't know, even know why, but dehydrated, I guess. Type 2 diabetes will do that to you. Or should I say uncontrolled type 2 diabetes will do that to you. That's good. I put a whole lemon. Am I guilty of sometimes passing out without washing my face before I pass out? Pass out? Yes. yes. So I'll go wash my face. I'm going to go shower, actually. Soon. So, you saw my... Bullshit. Bullshit. I don't believe that you shower. Now that you found a new way of washing yourself, I believe that she thinks that swimming every day is a way of keeping herself clean she sees it as one giant bath it's disgusting it really is because when i think of all the times that i've gone swimming in my life never no matter what size i was did i ever think that Swimming in a lake or in a pool would be a replacement for a shower or a bath. Because like I said in my previous video, whenever I go swimming, the first thing that I do when I get home, or if there's like 
facilities at at the location that I'm at. I go take a shower. Now, if the facilities are disgusting and not up, you know, it, it, like it, you wouldn't be any cleaner using them, then I would wait until I got to a cleaner facility to wash myself because I've been in that situation. Because sometimes if, when you go to these state parks, the bathing facilities are dirtier than the actual lake. You know what I mean? And see, when we were camping when I was young, I had the luxury of of just go of going to the trailer and 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 taking a shower because the water was clean. They had good facil clean facilities, whatever. We had a thing. Um, no matter what source we were getting our water from, there was always a filter filtering out all that bad stuff. So, no matter what. My parents made sure I had a place to, we had a place to go to to um, clean ourselves properly. I'd say there's probably one facility that I that I know of where I could say that I was able to, you know, to go to swim and then go to the, you know, the the bathing facilities to actually take a a a shower without feeling like. Um, like you know, I'm like I'm just gonna be just as dirty, whatever. Because they they uh took the time to clean the facilities every day, even though it was a lake. They they that that park took the time to clean the actual facilities, and it was nice. It wasn't the best, but it was nice. Way in there, um, this, I have no. This is what gets me about this pool. Is that this is a apartment complex, okay? And one of the wealthiest countries in the world, black mold, regular furniture near the water. Like, I've never seen regular, like regular, regular furniture near a body of water. Usually, it's patio furniture. You know what I mean? Because that shit can get moldy and stuff. Really quick, especially if you're, you know, you're sitting down with a wet bathing suit on, on, on a regular, like, couch. Yeah, it's going to get rancid and moldy. I just don't get it. No idea how I weigh that. I don't, I think I'm lighter than the last time. I was 157, maybe? Kilos? I have to check. But, like, I have no idea how that's possible. There, now, there is an argument to be made that this could be the result of some form of organ, organ failure. And that's why she's losing rapidly losing weight. It's a thing. And there's also an argument to be made that, you know, the swimming that she has been doing could be slowly helping her lose weight. It's not much, granted. And she looks like a, a paralyzed frog when she swims. But she is getting some form of movement when she's swimming. Personally, I think she's making it harder on herself when she swims the way she does. But I also think it's for some sort of, like, weird comedic effect on her part. Like, teehee, watch me swim like a de deformed, like, paralyzed frog, you guys. It's not cute, Chantel. The only thing I can think is maybe the swimming is working. It, like, doesn't feel like exercise. It just feels like... It's fun, you know? And, like, you feel a little burn, like, if you're treading water too long or if I'm swimming too long without touching the ground. But, like, overall, it's just, like, nothing. So it doesn't feel like exercise whatsoever. And I will say that when we still had the pool at, at this at my current place of residence and when I had access to the pool at the apartment complex, I I was losing a good chunk of weight. So there is an argument to be made that water aerobics does its job. Like, you know, like, I, cause, see, I spend, a, when I swim, I spend, I could spend a good couple hours in the pool. I know it may not be healthy, but it's like, I love swimming so much. Like, when I was younger, 
my mom had to drag me out of the pool like because i loved it so much i still love swimming no matter what size i'm at i love swimming it's one of my favorite like sports is swimming and it, it you could and it's not like it does not feel like exercise and see i i found uh, when before our our pool went to crap okay at this place of residence i found this i would take my phone okay because i found this like this low impact water aerobics and i would go out there every day and you know keep in mind before even getting into that pool i would clean the pool do the chemicals you know and clean you know that pool like was that's an exercise right there you know you're walking around the pool you're doing a lot of stretching and and uh you know the skimmer sometimes the skimmer that we have for that for that pool is actually kind of heavy so um got a little bit of a workout there but then like doing the water aerobics it was like a 10 15 minutes water aerobics that i would do pretty much every day and i lost a good chunk of weight so you know, I don't understand why she's not. She said she found she's not doing that J Jane Vonda water aerobics in the pool. And that's the kind of exercise I feel like I need right now. You know, yeah. um, I've really seen her do is just kind of float around and do a little bit of movement, but it, it's not enough movement to cause significant weight loss. Um, so, so uh, as, uh, as given the sorry, I keep on stopping. But given the fact that when she gets home, she's carb loading and shit, so all that hard work that she did at the pool, it, it it's gonna be canceled out by whatever she eats. Else says I do have a new health issue that um is being taken care of. I'm on another medication now i don't want to say what it is and i don't want to talk about it right now maybe down the line i don't know i don't want to talk about it right now i just don't want to talk about it uh i'm just feeling like you know i just don't want to talk about talk about it i guess <laughs> i don't know i'm not ready for the world to know certain things so i'm, I'm this way because i'm very tired and i'm just up but i wanted to do a weigh-in and just see um I opened my agenda and I felt sad because I had all these goals and you know we were getting hyped up watching travel vlogs and things and I realized like where we're going to be traveling I'm going to be needing to walk so much what goals and girl what makes you think you are in any condition to do like a lot of traveling you are in a very dire situation with your health you need to be more concerned with getting your health back on track, going back to Canada, getting inpatient treatment, rather than planning your next trip with your fake husband. Your priorities are so out of whack. It's it's just so infuriating to see this woman sit here and, and dead ass be like, well, you know, I have all these goals on my agenda that I want to accomplish. It's like, but nothing to do with actually getting her health in check. And then seeing her follow through with some of these things is even more infuriating because, like, then later on she's going to complain about how the toll that it's taking on her body. It's like, yeah, of course, because you're not really up to the, the all this strenuous stuff that you want to do, like climbing Mount Everest, getting a six pack. Like, you, you need to, like, really, I mean, there, go back to the basics here. You need to get it, just inpatient treatment. Where you literally have no control over what you eat. Where you're constantly in a place where people can help you and, you know, keep keep you on track until you have the, the mindset to do it yourself. That's what uh, Tammy did. She was in that facility for months. And then got to a point where she could have that weight loss surgery. She worked her butt off. And look where she is now. 
Um, I did what I could in Thailand, but the trip would have been so much more enjoyable if I was in shape. Um, you wasted all that money. Even for in shape people, where we're going is tough. <laughs> she doesn't realize that Japan can get just as hot. I don't know much about Japan, but I do know that I can get really hot there. But I won't back down. No, I won't back down. So yeah. I um, have a new health problem. And I just feel defeated, I guess, a little bit. And I'm gonna have to try very, very hard to pick myself up today and clean my depression. Oh God. And clean my depression kitchen. <laughs> oh God. I'm not really in the mood for a pity party, Chantel. Just stop. No one feels sorry for you. You brought this all on yourself. Whatever it is, you brought it on yourself. Um, eat something good for me? I'm really confused about my way in. Like, how? I live swimming? Um. And, oh yeah, if you're, like, new here, if you're wondering, I don't show myself on the camera um, when I weigh in. At least not now, just because, like, I don't want to have to get all dressed. This is, like, I don't know, it's heavy. Like, it's not heavy material, but you know what I mean. I just want to go step on, undressed, and see how much I weigh, which is uh, the way most people do it, I think. And I cannot show you my body, so that's how I do it. Like, just show you the result. Which, um, if you're worried about any dishonesty, I've proven that I do weigh in accurately, because when I've been weighing in with my scale versus when I weighed in at the doctor, they were the same. So, um... I don't have any reason to lie about my weight. I'm only cheating myself doing that. And if I really wanted to lie about my weight, I would probably say that I'm 200 pounds, not 350, not 350, 60, 70, whatever. <laughs> Bitch, get out of my face with this bullshit. You've been lying the for years about your weight, and you have every reason to lie. Why do you think you have to use so many filters, Chantel? <laughs> Because you're so massive now that you need all the help you can get to continue this facade that you have going on. So I wouldn't be surprised if she paid the doctor. I won't, wouldn't be surprised if she, you know, when she was on that scale in the doctor's office, she, uh, you know, messed around to make herself seem smaller than she actually is. I wouldn't, I don't put past anything past Chantel because she's that devious and she's that manipulative. I don't think I could get away with that though, saying I'm 200 pounds. <laughs> Imagine. No, you, no, you there couldn't. Was, a time that I, was that? I don't even remember. The smallest I remember being is 295. 295. <laughs> And I was working out a lot at the gym and suffering. <laughs> no pain, no gain, right? That's literally true. Change is painful, but so is staying the same. And I have to keep telling myself that every day. Do you want to keep being unhealthy? Do you want to live to be, uh, I don't know, 45, 50? Or do you want to live to be, you know, maybe 70, 80? Depends, 90? Who knows? Only God knows. But it's up to me to be responsible for my, my health. Um, and accountable for that, so... I am going to try, try, try to um, make today a completely healthy day. I want to see if I can do like at least a full day of just like taking care of myself and not binge eating, not ooh, eating processed junk food, too much sugar, which by the way is horrifyingly dangerous for somebody with type 2 diabetes. For some reason, and I have to do it. I have to do it now. Like you know, travel is going to be coming up, and I'm going to be like majorly screwed. 
and I can't just wait around for like all kinds of treatment and things. Yes, I can like get help and stuff like that in the meantime, but I have to like take the bull by the horns and literally start somewhere because and keep it up. She isn't wrong. I mean, she, she isn't wrong with, with it, but like Chantel, we know you. We know based on your demeanor in this video, you have no intention of taking the bull by the horns and actually doing this thing. This is just a hitting me because I got a really bad diagnosis. I had a fight with Salah because obviously there's something going on because where the hell did the other part of the couch go? Girl, do you really expect that this little pity party is, is going to win us over? This is what she wants. She wants sympathy. And I have to say, the quest denied. You're you're not gonna get sympathy from me personally. I don't give a shit, not one iota, about what this is doing to you because you've done this to yourself. Because otherwise, like it's you know, I don't have a lot of time. I feel like I feel like I don't have a lot of time to diddle doddle around and keep saying, okay, this is the last hurrah. This is the last hurrah. I know this video was like weak and kind of depressing, but hopefully, inshallah, that that will change and future videos will be better. I doubt it, but you know, I admire your optimism. And I can be like, guys, I'm going on my on a dream vacation <laughs> to challenge myself. Girl, you are in no shape to go on a dream vacation. The only place you need to be traveling to is back to Canada. And into an inpatient program. And do something different and bring you guys, take you guys traveling. You know, that's just like a dream of mine. Um, I know my pre previous video, I was like thinking I'm agoraphobic. I, I guess I'm not if I can leave my house is what, you know, people were saying. But, and if I can travel across the world <laughs> to Kuwait, that's a good point. Um... I don't know. I'm just uh, ignorant, I guess, in some ways. But I need a health arc. I need a health arc. Maybe I'll start a support group on Facebook or something. I don't know. There's got to. Yeah, we are past the point of support groups and shit like that. You are in desperate need of inpatient treatment because you are not physically or mentally capable of doing it yourself at this point. You need serious medical interven intervention that Salah can't pay for that Kuwait can't provide for you be people dealing with this that also are looking or feeling lonely about it you know so yeah I need a good health routine and me and routine you know it's like boiling water so <laughs> but I need to do it it's like the, it's one of the main things keeping me from succeeding in life you know in my own personal life so anyway i just thought i would come on here and open the camera i just um was feeling a certain way feeling a bit down even though my weigh-in is you know i thought i was going to be like up there because i haven't been eating healthy i've been eating a lot on certain days i've been binge eating i don't even know i need to keep track like i need to journal when it happens how i feel what i eat which is what therapy has told me in the past you know stay hydrated People with type 2 diabetes need to be extra hydrated, especially if you're on like medication like metformin and stuff like that. Um, because you're more prone to kidney problems, if not. So, yay. Like, I don't want to treat my body this way anymore, you know? I'm so grateful to have a life, to be part of this world, you know? Alhamdulillah. Are you indicating that you have a, a kidney issue? Hmm. And I don't want to waste it. I know, like, I, there's like, I feel like there's just like a wall. But no more mukbangs. Seriously, if if this is how, if this, if this is what you really want, don't do the mukbangs anymore. I don't want to see the mukbangs. I don't want to, see, you know, I want to see you actively trying to change your life. But it's not going to happen because 
she just doesn't have the, the grit or the fortitude to follow through. Surrounding me, I'm just at the other side, if I can figure out how to break that wall, there's like an amazing life, a healthy life. <sighs> Health is wealth. No matter how much money you have in life, it means nothing. If you can't do anything, if you're not healthy, if you're just gonna like ruin your body, ruin your health, you know? So, anyway. She's speaking a lot of truths, but coming from her, it's just empty words. I remember reading somewhere that going from having an eating disorder like binge eating and food addiction and you know changing to a healthier lifestyle it's a grieving process which i never thought of like i thought that was weird like i only ever assumed i only ever associated grieving with like a loss of a person but it can also be a loss of an emotional crutch you've been using for 30 years or 25 uh, probably at least 20 something years so uh, maybe even younger maybe 30 years you know when i think about being a child like i've told you guys many times about the stories about comfort foods and stuff so, yeah, you can totally grieve the loss of food in your life. You feel like there's nothing there to hold on to, you know, to, to escape to when things are tough. And um, making that switch to something healthy is a grieving process. And you're also grieving um, those many years of living that way and um, destroying your health. Grieving that, you know, that you, you did that, and that that's how your life was for so long. So... I'm just you're still doing it even behind the scenes you're still doing it what are you even talking about you haven't you're acting as if you're already on this journey you haven't even started waiting for my time to wake up and i'm hoping that time is now i know i've said this like a thousand times i'm hoping inshallah that this is the last time i think obviously honey baby sweetie boo boo whatever you can't sit around and wait for shit to happen. You've got to take the bull by the horns, like you said, and just do it. So there's so many contradictions in this video. Which leads me to believe, as I said in the beginning, this is just a pity party video. She has no intention of actually changing. Not whatsoever. This is all performative. This is all just for sympathy and aspect. I don't feel sorry for you. I really don't. You brought this on yourself. Obviously, there may be slip-ups. I mean, if there isn't, statistically, it would be a, a miracle if there weren't any. But got to keep going. Got to keep going. Anyway, sorry to depress you first thing in the morning. Um, I'll try to update you guys later today. Hopefully, it will be. I'll be in a better mood. Um, I might do another video. I'll probably do another video with more updates what I eat today. A food diary helps hold me accountable. It's true, when you write it down, you're like, holy crap, did I eat all that? It's true, it's shocking. It's like, what the heck? Anyway, I guess I'm gonna go for now, guys. Thank you for listening to me. I know it's not always easy, but I do appreciate it. It's an outlet for me. Um, like I said, I'm going to think about like a support group or something where we can talk to each other like when we're going through the same problems and have like a positive space on the internet, you know? Okay, whatever, but Chantel, you only want to hear what you want to hear, so what's even the point of a support group? Do you just want another place for athletes and sympathy? Um to express ourselves, kind of like a little safe space. <laughs> anyway. Alright guys, I hope you're having a good day, better day. If you're not, keep your head up. All we can do, keep swimming. I'm gonna keep swimming, because I think it might be working a bit. Maybe I burn more calories than I realize, because usually when I go swimming, like after I turn the live off, I still swim for like another hour. <laughs> I love it. I do love it. I do want to get out there and walk too. Uh, Friday, I think it's gonna start being hot, like maybe 41 degrees Celsius. Uh, right now it's about 30, but it's like more gloomy today. <sighs> Salah's got to wash those windows. He does it for me. He has super long arms. I have T-Rex arms. <laughs> Alright guys, <laughs> see you later. Bye.
Well, that was depressing and just annoying. She's doing this because she wants to gain an audience of, you know, sympathizers and uh, basically enablers, right? She wants more enablers. Sorry, girl. Request denied once again. You're not going to get that from us. You, you've fucked around and found out for way too long on I the internet and it is what it is. But anyways, that that is it for today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Toodaloo, my loves.